Yo, what is up guys? It's a your hacks and today we're gonna be doing script kitty from hack the box. So this is a fairly easy box to start off with, so let's just get it. So I am using a Kali Linux, which is basically a virtualized machine uh, made by offensive security. What Kali Linux is that uh, it's basically dedicated to uh, hackers. So basically it has all of the uh, needed tools for hackers like Brits, Burp Suite, Nictoscan, Nmap, Metasploit, and so much more. You can download this from the Kali Linux official website. So without wasting time, let's just do an Nmap against ScriptKitty. So Nmap-C dash S V dash O dash A store this in an Nmap folder and the uh, name of this script kitty and the port and the IP address of box 10.2226 I will run this so let's just see the results and we see that there's two ports open one port uh, SSH and the other one a web server running on port 5000 so let's check that out so let's go to the IP address of the box 10.10.226 port 5000 and we see there's something called a kids hacker tools the basically the title of the web server we see three main uh, categories nmap payloads and exploits looks like this payload section is vulnerable because we can actually uh, browse files from our local uh, local machine and upload them which makes it all of course vulnerable to some uh, malicious files so let's first change the OS to Android and set the L host to the uh, hack the box VPN IP address that they provided us and what we're gonna do is generate a malicious APK file so that's what so we're gonna do that with the help of MSF console a and there's a, a module for that so let's first boot up MSF console and I will provide this file I mean I will provide this link in in this file and I will provide this uh, in the description so you don't need to worry and here is the link so you can learn more about this so we see that MSF console has uh, rooted and now we can use this here so it's this and we're gonna use this. So we're gonna do options. Yeah, and we're gonna set the L host to tunnel zero. And we're gonna do options again. And that's all we can. That's all I want to do. You can change the L port if you want, but I'm not gonna do that. So let's just hit X, enter exploit, and we see that this has the APK for a file has been stored at this location. So let's just split this view and we want to move this into a working directory. So my name is going to be root hack the box script kitty and do that and and uh, symbol uh, for multiple commands at once. So I'm going to cd to my working directory like that and we see it's moved and we also see that the msf.apk file has been there. We move them. So now we want to change this mod 777 and we want to allocate that to msf.ep. So now if we do ls, it uh, lights up like a nice cyan color. Now what we want to do is set an end cap dash lvp and uh, the exploit that you, the L port that you specified on the exploit. So I Set it to 4444. Four, four, four. I'm, I'm gonna enter this. 
you go back onto this, you go into our, our, the website, and, and make sure this is filled out. The L host is your hardware uh, IP address the provider to you, and go to where you store that uh, MSF, MSF .apk. I'm gonna open this and I'm gonna hit generate. Before we hit generate, first let's check if our internet cat is running. So it is running. So now let's just press generate, and we will be getting a shell short soon. Looks like we've received the connection from the stupid box. So now what we're this is where the uh, this file comes in uh, important. So now we just want to copy this here. And go here and hit this. Paste it here and just press enter and we'll get this nice bash type of uh, environment. So now I just did export terminal because external. Now we can use clear. Now let's cd back to home to see what file uh, folders that are uh, uh, users there are. Less and then we see there's kid and queen. So it looks like we have got access to the kid one because it says kid uh, script kitty. So I just cd to kid L, ls and looks like the user.txt is right here. So this is cat user.txt. And we've got it here. Go back to a hack the box, submit this flag, and just to the rating and just submit flag. I've already done this as you can see. Now we've, because we've got use out of the way, let's try to get into a root. Let's go back and let's see let's cd into our twin user. So let's clear first cd ls and c that there is some folders and files. So let's first cat the scan losers.sh. And it looks like the logs have been stored at this location. Now we also have access to this. So let's just cd to this. And ls. And then there's hackers. Let's see if there's any logs. Ca hackers. Looks like there's no logs. And here we'll come. We're coming back to this file, and we want to get the reverse shell as the print user. So because we want to get that, we have to echo this command into into the hackers folder, a file. Place this. So basically, what this is doing is echoing bin bash dash c. Basically, dash c means command, and we're doing bash dash i dev tcp. Connect to this IP address and this port. So what you're supposed to have here is your IP address and your port. You can leave this as default port like one three three seven, or you can change it if you want. We want to and on our MSF side, MSF console side, we want to exit our MSF console because we don't need this anymore. We want to set up an netcat dash lvp running on the port that you specified your bash command to be. I uh, specified this as um, one three three seven seven, and we just want to press enter. And here I'm going to press enter, and we see that we've got the shell here. So we need to do a quick ls. To see what there is, and now we can just do export term equals x term. So now we can just need to recon to see what there is. This looks like there's nothing. And now what we can do is list all the things that we can do with sudo. So sudo dash l list basically list all the things that we can do as root. So press this. Looks like we can run MSF console with, uh, with like root with no password. So we can just do sudo MSF console and not having to put the password in for root. And MSF console is going to be starting to boot up. 
and here we go we've got MSF console booted up so what you can do here is we can actually execute simple uh, command line commands like ls clear stuff like that so we can do ls and execute ls and so because we've got root access to metasploit i mean msf console we can just cd to root without no problem and we can just press ls and we see that there's the root.txt and we can just cut it out without any problem and here we go just copy this now we go back to our hacker box and just paste the flag hash and just choose your difficulty rating it, for me is really easy so just submit this flag as you can see I've already done this so we have successfully hacked into script kitty as I said this was a really easy box so you, I hope you guys had no trouble doing it and I will be leaving uh, this file in the description so you guys uh, it is really easy for you guys to finish to get it to get the box so if you guys liked my video uh, stay tuned for other hack the box uh, walkthroughs and see you next time. Bye.